I read once that women, when interested in a particular man, may resort to fake and common interests, a tendency that is readily observable today. Some may not think much about this, however, I do believe that we significantly discount the efficacy of engaging in what has been termed putting one's best foot forward. To put one's best foot forward, in many, if not the majority of cases, it sets both parties up for failure, and especially when this behavior is engaged in as a means to attract a prospective mate. The woman who resorts to this behavior is essentially molding a false reality as to be perceived as an optimal mate for the target male, as he possesses certain resources that she desires for herself, these of course not invariably being monetary, such as in the case of someone with status, but is not necessarily affluent. In a risk averse fashion, she may gather data about the interests of the target male and reflect them in her speech as well as actions, the goal here being to leverage her quote unquote best foot as a means to get it in the door for a relationship. This ultimately is false advertising, as a potential buyer from the marketplace may elect to acquire the product under the false perception that certain features, i.e. personality traits and interests, are present. Moreover, this is not a mode of being that the woman can, or even more likely is, willing to keep up, and can very much be conducive to resentment over the long term in the event it is necessitated that this mask be kept on, a major contributory variable amongst others to divorces in my eyes. I spoke with a guy recently, and he told me about how the action of his then-girlfriend early on in their relationship didn't match her behavior at that point in time. He is someone who is goal-oriented or ambitious, a trait found to be attracted by women cross-culturally. Early on in their relationship, she showed similar aspirations, but it fizzled out over time, a state of affairs that, understandably, may confuse someone. I asked whether this particular woman wanted children, and it seemed to be the case that she did. Although I could be wrong, what I believe this discrepancy in behavior originated from was her fake and common interest initially in order to elicit some form of attraction and acquire a prospective mate exhibiting traits indicative of an ability to acquire resources for children. If I am correct, much in the same way that a consumer may return or dispose of a product that doesn't hold up to a manufacturer's claims, this may result in relationship dissolution accompanied by the loss of the resources of time as well as any money invested. And considering how common putting one's best foot forward really is, one may conclude that there must be some form of benefit to it, and I believe you'd be right. By the woman achieving a relationship as a byproduct of molding a false reality, she is positively reinforced for engaging in said behavior. Furthermore, we must also consider the factor of the male's confusion in all of this, which strikes me as an important contributory variable. This confusion is born out of the discrepancy between early and late relationship behaviors. His instinct, and especially in the event he is emotionally invested at this point, is not going to be the thing that the discrepancy was a result of disingenuous acts, but rather that something changed, this potentially resulting in the male clinging to the hope that if he figures things out, things will return to normal. He may even blame himself, and in the event he confronts the woman, plausible deniability is always an option for her. In all actuality, it may be that the woman perceived that what she valued did not parallel with that of the target male prior to relationship formation, so following putting her best foot forward and getting it in the door, she slowly shifted her behaviors to be more reflective of her actual desires in the hopes that the now invested male is willing to change and accept them. A strategy such as this very much parallels with a quote commonly attributed to Einstein, though potentially not by him. This being that men marry women with the hope they will never change, women marry men with the hope they will change, invariably they are both disappointed. When the male inclination to take on responsibility, along with any accompanying blame, and the female tendency to risk aversely utilize plausible deniability meet, you may be left with the same, if not an even more so confused man, as the cause of this whole predicament cannot be pinpointed. What's worse is that the woman may even be further positively reinforced as the relationship is not coming to an end. This especially being the case if further commitment by the man is elicited due to his taking on the blame in the situation. At this point, the man may be so invested that he looks past the discrepancy, which ultimately positively reinforces for the woman the idea that molding a false reality for men is an effective means to acquire prospective mates. We've all heard the phrase before, all is fair in love and war, and here as well, this notion definitely rings true. A special shout out to my patrons, and if you got some of this content, please like, share, comment, subscribe, consider donating or becoming a patron, and as always, here's to the research, and take care.